what is there, sadhana I don't practice. Mm. I have no idea, no information. Mm. But you see the deity. Mm. Uh, Radhapar is the only Krishna. And Biharaji, they say, they're together, huh? Together, half, half, and half. And also Radha Vallabh say Radha Krishna. He's a gopi one. Mm. So Gurudev, Gurudev, could you explain your, your saying gopi Baba and sakhi Baba difference? gopi Baba. Mm. is a, coming in our soul consciousness is become gopi Baba. And we start living in the soul consciousness. Mm. Our Acharya say, this is Gopi Baba. Soul consciousness means we know our soul and... Uh, living, knowing different things. Yeah, living soul. Knowing one thing and living is different thing. Mm. So Guru said, because you know, so say you say Gopi Baba, but somebody is like a, you know a Basera, you know somebody Basera, somebody Saki. So. And uh, say, many, some people say, oh, soul consciousness, Gopi Baba, maybe some. Vasale Rasa, mm. you don't need to be in uh, soul consciousness. Oh, <laughs> means Sadaka de how we can do? Vasale Rasa. Vasale Rasa, Sakya Rasa, we can do this. this. Sadaka de Sadaka de Physical body. Mm. But this physical body has to be pure. Mm. Mm. Totally one pointed with a mm. feeling with Krishna, mm. not with the sense enjoyment feeling. Mm. This has to be pure. Mm. My desire is there mm. to enjoy my senses and mother bhastalas are not possible. Mm. So means uh, no. I cannot enjoy with my child. No. Mother cannot do that. No. And Sakha cannot do that. They can play, mm. but they cannot do that. Mm. So means uh, so to to get to Sakya Baba or Bassere Baba. So we may not need spiritual body. No, no necessary. No necessary, no? No necessary. So, so therefore, probably they don't have a kind of like a sit pranari. No, 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 no need. No need. They need. Mother need anything. Mm. She whole day will cook for a child. Mm. That's the feeling and pure feeling. Feeling, feeling has to be pure. very deep mm. and pure. Mm. Okay. That is the so bath Can I ask something? How how is it possible to, in, in Sadak Deha to be really pure? Is it possible? Sure. How you want to come to here to make pure yourself? Some, some, some habit has to change. In sadhak there, physical body we have changed the habit. Why you go to Mangala Arati? That is the time for sleeping. 
why you go? No need to go, Mangalar. But you want to not to sleep. You want to wake up to go to take darshan of Radha Mohan. So this is changing my habit. You see, European and American man, they no take bath in morning time. They take bath in night time when they go to sleep. I see this. I was surprised. I said, why? They put the perfume and everything and they change the clothes. They no take bath. Right or not? Yes, yes. <clears throat> and e evening when they will go to sleep for sense enjoyment, then they will take bath. So what is the goal of them? Sense enjoyment is the goal. Why not they take bath early morning? The, what is the goal of my life? Only sense enjoyment or to develop my life in any loving relation with Lord. If you cannot do something, make sun to him. Take one Gopal and play with him. You make friend to him. You don't need Siddha Deha, spiritual body for that. This is only recommended in Braja. You cannot enter in Braja Leela without taking shelter of Radha Dasi or Radha Sakhi of Gopi. You ca cannot. Any rag bhakti cannot start without that. So soul conscious has to change in the shelter of Radhika. But the goal is Krishna, Gopi and Sakhi. And Manjari's goal is only to serve Radha. This is the speciality of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes, then Guru Dev. So, what's the difference of Gopi and Sakhi? Gopi and Sakhi. Mm. Sakhis are the Gopis to start. Gopi Gita. They all are expansion of Radhika. Mm. The, in Rama Avatar, Vedas, Puranas, Richi, Ri, Richa, mm. Sruti, all they become gopi mm. to be close with Krishna. Mm. Their goal was this. Mm. So they have to, Krishna has to accept them. So go, gopi may not to friend with Radhika. They are the friends. Yeah, but they're not close, no? They are friends, mm. but the desire is with Krishna. So they are friends, Sakis are friends, mm. but they cannot deny to Krishna. That's the point. They are tad, tad bhav ikshamai, mm. sambhoga atmika. Mm. So means the sambhoga atmika is, is gopi. Gopi, eh? Sambhoga atmika. When you can do meeting with Krishna, why not I do? <laughs> that is that is Gopi. Yeah? I also want to sambhav with you. Mm. That is Gopi. Yeah? Gopi. And so then tada tada atmi tada tada bhav ichamai. Yeah, tada bhav ichamai. That is Saki. Yeah? Saki. Yes. Because you, you can do Radhika, and why not I can do? I do like you because I'm your friend. Friend has the same right mm. like other friends. Mm. <coughs> so, so Guru Dev, if if I hear that explanation, then I my understanding is that Gopi is like a Bishama Sneha. Saki is Sama Sneha. We can say in our association, but you cannot say this to the 
Bindu and Sindhu, there are two books. They have everyone, 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 Gopi Bhav, and this they have all Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu of uh, Rupa Goswami. I see from my eyes. Why? I asked to them, he's a very Siddha Purush. I said, why? Without reading, is all not become Christian here. Mm. Because maybe no Acharya... The stage is not clear. They say only one pointed. Vasali rasa, rasa, madhuri rasa. And in that different rasa, there is not explain like Rupa Goswami. Mm. So he is the Acharya of Abhideha. So all, all you say, all, all Vrindavan Vaishnava, or all Vaishnava Acharya, no? one says. Yes. Oh. We cannot say. We can think this. Yes. But honestly, they think that their Acharya will follow. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. But they are, they are, yes. taking, they are taking this this knowledge. But what Mahaprabhu gives us, mm. this is the Unnat. Ujjwal rasa, mm. what you explain, mm. that you explain. Mm. It was never happened. Ujjwal rasa was there, mm. but unnat ujjwal rasa was not there. Yeah. Everybody want Krishna, mm. but few are the persons who need to serve Radhika. Mm. And honest, <laughs> He is telling that I am a Manjiri, not possible. With mind, it's a mental religion. Mind has to totally fix one point. This is the meaning of mental religion. Mind go here, there, there, there. And mind is not fixed. The more I, you know, we understand why, why in Vrindavan Baba they always meditate, do bhajan. They no talk, even. Yeah, because the yes, sir, Baba, no talk. Vinod Baba not talk. All day he never talk. He is in bhajan. On evening time he sing and sleep and go to rest. Taking prasad and doing bhajan. This is Purna generous. They have no time to teach and preach and to make followers. Yeah, but for us, problem. Huh? If 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 Guru Guru Dev does not share, then then for us is problem. Huh? But, but but when you take the responsibility, you have to make qualified to them. If you not make qualified, then you you are you are in depths. Depths, huh? depths, very heavy depths. Wow. Wow. If Guru Dev, my Guru Dev, mm. not make me qualified, then he's in depths with me. He accepts me. Wow. Wow, this is very heavy. <laughs> huh? He accepts me. Mm. How I say, I don't read any book. Mm. I say 24 half very patiently 
दट इज अ राधा कृष्ण हनुमान जी दी वाई बिकॉज दिस इज कम मैसेज टू मी टू से दिस फ्रॉम गुरुदेव यस परम गुरु ई से टू मी वाई आई विल आई डोंट थ्रू बिफोर आई डोंट नो दैट बट कृष्ण मीन्स एवरीथिंग इज द But sadhak they have only I will see Krishna. Mm. Physical body I cannot more than that. Mm. Show me how you can understand anything. No. Can I ask a question again? Yeah. Um, what I understand is that when you have disciples and you don't, they they. Do not follow the goal, so Swamini, you do de have deaths. Is that right? Honestly, I never say to anyone who has no desire. Oh, okay. Honestly, yeah. I have so many disciples. If I see no desire, I no share anything. Uh, yeah. I never share because desire, I can feel it. Who is chanting? I can know it. Yeah. Without you, you chant or not chant in my front, but I will know. I know that you will know everything. <laughs> I know. Yeah. If really somebody is totally fixed and try to fix, is sitting backside, and that is satvarta. He was so crazy. When he come, only he has a battle in the mind, fighting, and he change by his chanting. He realize and he change himself like anything. So I say you are my best friend because he he wake up at two a.m. and he knows other thing do only chanting. He never talk to anyone. Without completing his round, so his life is changed. Nobody can change him. You see, and by looking to him, and who goes near to him, his wife will go near to melt him. He can melt, but he will change her. You will see that. Life will change. Who will go to the pure devotee? They will change. They have to change. And if they don't change, then there is no desire. Then nobody can change. <laughs> yeah, you understand. Yes. If she has a desire, she will change. Wonderful. Because if she loves his husband, she will like to fulfill husband desire. This is the love. I know, and I love you. One thing, I know Krishna. You are Krishna, but I love you, Krishna. That is different thing. If she love my satta vrata, Madhuriya rasa will change. And I say to Madhuriya rasa, if you call your daughter. By looking you and father, they will change. Not to with me, living with them, they will change their life. This is the parasmani, touch stone. If you touch the stone, parasmani to the iron, you will become gold. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to understand. Blockage, my blockage, my false ego is my big blockage. Ask to him, when he come to me, only I talk about Madhuri Arasa. And when I say Madhuri Arasa, he become very far. But again I talk about Madhuri Arasa. And slowly, slowly he got bothered to ask, to, to anger. Because chanting start. I am checking because his chanting is growing or not. So I say the Madhuri Arasa. So, but when his chanting become more and more deep, then he has no bother. Right or not? See? <laughs> Every day I test. Every two days, three days, I say, Madhuri Arasa. And he become been, he become so angry to me. I say still not bhajan is going on. Then I don't talk three four days. Again I say then bin he become like up and down. Then slowly not no bondage. You see sitting near to that. Right or not? Yes, Guru Dev. No. No. About him. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's not a after, uh, I give you an example. Uh, <laughs> staying uh, close to you, Guru Dev, this is what happens. No, no. Life change. I'm uh, always checking no, no, you to my disciple. Mm-hmm. By looking, I can check. <laughs> this is the mercy of my Guru Dev. So, Guru Dev, so if we see or you are checking, we become afraid. No, no, you will not know I am checking. No. I will say something that I will check it. What I want to say is you are always protecting us. No, checking means I have not time for that, but I can vibration and realize. And after that I support that one day will come to you also to change your life. Yeah, we cannot understand myself by myself, but by your taking, you, by your uh, compass, by your navigation, navigation means taking. I will never navigate to anyone if he has no desire. <laughs> Honest, I am telling you, right? Yes, no direction, no desire. No I will direction. not navigate. Mm-hmm. Navigation I give mm-hmm. when they need. Mm-hmm. Then she need Harina, I give. If she will chant, she will has it other desire. She will ask me question. Then I will say, she is happy with that. She want to pass his time like that. Okay, something is going on. Why I will? So that way things go. Who has the time to bother? If the, your son not close to you, how you will help him? They are children, no? disciples with children. If the child don't want help, how you can help him? And why you want to help him when he don't need your help? See me. He's happy with his circumstances. What you, why are you bothering? <laughs> <laughs> and you can also check us when we are not here, when we are far away. When I will meditate. Yeah. But why I will meditate when they no call me? When you not call me, why I will think for you? When I will think, when you will call me, 
then I have to think for you. Right? You bother for me, I bother for you. Mm. Uh, my sons are in America. Why I will bother for them? They are to solve their problem. When they will ask, then I can share something. Right? Mm. Honestly, Gurudev, sometimes I'm afraid to call you because when I'm in, in the Western, my, my, I have the feeling that my heart is not clear. It's, it's, oh, I feel so bad and, and I think, oh, when I call Gurudev, I don't want to do a talk about him with problems. God. I create the problem. My problem is created by me. Right or not? Who create my problem? I create my problem. I identify my body and from that problem start. Right or not? Yes, right. Then ego is coming. Yes. Then senses are there. Yes. Then sense enjoyment is coming. Then material desire has to fulfill. Then many goals are coming. And for that goal, my ego become more high. By who can prove to get it? That is different way of life, not a spirituality. And a spiritual master can you have, they can help only for a spirituality. He is not a material guru. He cannot do that. He is not interested for that thing. What is the desire? He don't want to go back for this, for this and things. It's over. Right? <laughs> this is no meaningful. I think like this. I don't know other guru knows better. I don't have too much knowledge. I have not too much qualification. Good day. Very in interesting. If disciple not to qualify, that is good day to depth. This is very amazing, huh? Hundred percent. Wow. You have to. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if the child is not qualified, it's a parent mistake. But if one child grown up in 15 and somebody not want to grown up up to 35, what you can do? It's a constitutional position, it's like this. Then not grown up. Then what you say? Some energy is low for grown up intelligence. Takes long time. Or well, maybe sanskara is not enough. Maybe. And a very much blockage. Coming <coughs> for animal mm. or some animal body mm. to the human body. Mm. So very heavy blockage. Mm. It's not easy to remove that blockage. Mm. And they don't need help for removing. <laughs> they don't, why don't they need the help? <coughs> because they are happy there. Uh, okay. Ah, Jen, what do you mean? Okay. No. If I'm happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. then why I want help? 
Suffering in my happiness. La sofferenza della mia felicità. That is crazy person. No? I'm understanding. Prabhupada, Prabhupada is making the example of the camel. Prabhupada, for example. Explain. That, uh, yes. A camel is an animal that uh, likes to eat uh, thorns, bushes with, full of thorns. And, and while he's uh, chewing these thorns, full of thorns, the, the mouth, the tongue of this animal become full of uh, scratch and blood. Uh, blood, blood is coming out. And he, he, with uh, the thorns, he eats uh, only his own blood. And this is the, uh, the um, example Prabhupada makes between uh, sense gratification in human life and the behavior of these animals. Mm. So actually, this gratification means suffering. <laughs> mm. And we are happy. Uh, so-called so happiness while suffering. Abhi Bolam Bhagavan. Siddhanta Maharaj, please sit there. You are Maharaj, don't please. lie to me. Okay, please. Come sit there. I beg you, please, don't you say. Take your place. <laughs> He has a very classic pattern. You don't know him. Yes, please. Please share him. He was a big preacher in America. I traveled with him so many places. I went with uh, Ra Radhana Swami many places. He gave me one month, two months time wow. with his car. Wow. Many places traveling, Boston, India, Canada, America. Wow. My God. Wow. He is my guide there. Wow. So he is hiding man. Yeah, please share something. Ask Uchan Dani, you have to stretch him. He is very chupai and ustam. You know chupai and ustam. But don't keep money chupai and ustam. Bola. No, my God, Timirandas, you can answer that. Chupai and ustam. Chakshur Milita Mira Tasme Shri Guru Vena Maha. Shri Chitani Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhuttale Svayam Gupak Rabaya Vedati Svapurantikam. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Kishvasri Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare <coughs> Without the association, the mercy, the well-wishing of the sadhus we have no chance for spiritual advancement in this in this material world. So when we come into the association, 
of a divine personality such as our dear Sadhu Maharaj, Gurudev, then we must <coughs> realize that this is uh, really like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is an opportunity that we must appreciate with our whole heart and mind and to give ourselves to the service of such a sadhu, such a divine personality. In this way, we can somehow obtain this special mercy that's coming through Lord Krishna, through Shumati Radharani, descending down through Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the six Goswamis, coming to this place of Vrindavandam. And we somehow speaking for myself I don't know this is some special mercy I can't understand what is the reason how it came but somehow we end up here at the lotus feet of this great personality so we must really take it to heart and do uh, whatever effort we can endeavor we can service we can to not only uh, uplift ourselves but to also uplift others around us and in this way we have a chance to obtain the lotus feet of Shumati Radharani Ishtadevya Radha Mohan so I am very grateful to have an opportunity to be here with all of you very beautiful souls coming from so many different countries and I just want to offer myself uh, to serve you, to help you on your path, on the spiritual path. So just now we are coming from Gopishwara Mahadev uh, Temple, Mandir, which is a very special place, not a place to be overlooked. This is a very, very important part of our sadhana. Because Lord Shiva, after all, is the topmost devotee of Lord Krishna. And when every evening um, we're singing this nice Radha Kripa Kataksha song, uh, we realize that Lord Shiva is really the gatekeeper here of this Ras Lila in Vrindavandam. So without going through this process of worship of Lord Shiva, it's very difficult. Many obstacles will come in this very, very high path of, of bhakti. This bhakti path is a very high path. It's not a, not a cheap thing. Not something that we can just come to Vrindavan, chant some mantras and, and everything is okay. No, we have to really make a strong effort. And Lord Shiva, he removes so many obstacles, enables us to go smoothly on this path. So I urge all of you, please every day to go into this beautiful temple of Mahadev, Gopishwar Mahadev, and offer your obeisances, offer your respects, offer, there's, so, there's such a very, very nice pujari there. He's so giving his whole heart and soul for the service of Gopishwar Mahadev. And he's there for us, serving us. So please, I urge you all to take this opportunity, staying here, to visit this wonderful Mandir. <clears throat> so I don't want to rob your valuable time of having this is Krishna Kata of Sadhu Maharaj. So I just again want to beg for your mercy, for your blessings, that I may serve you in whatever way that I can. I'm always approachable. If you ever want to come to talk to me, I always find time for my fellow God brothers, God sisters on this path of bhakti. So please don't hesitate any time to come and, and I would be happy to serve you. Jai Shri Radhe Shyam. So, Siddhanta Maharaj, <coughs> so uh, could you share some some story and feeling when you travel with Sadhu Maharaj mm. and United States or some other country? Because uh, we don't know at that time, unfortunately. So you know 
サドマハラジズベリーファリセオールドユノヒストリーエンドホエンザットプリーチングオアシェアリングタイムソイフユクッドシェアサムサムナイスユノカタゼンウィアベリーハピー Well <coughs> you know I first met サドマハラジズ in, in, in Hungary actually、um, I was a new fairly new initiated devotee And one day I was in Budapest, and、um, the devotee said, Oh, we have a, 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 a king. A king is coming. I said, A king? Really? He said, Yes, from in, an Indian king, king of India. And he said, King of India? Wow. I said, I have to meet this king of India. It's a special opportunity. So I go there to the program, and there I see this wonderful. Holy saintly person sitting there, really like a king. You can feel like he's really a, a, a royal person, you know. But when he starts speaking, he's speaking such sweet, sweet, sweet、um, things about Radha Krishna and talking about love and just a very simple message. And I'm saying, my goodness, he, he renounced all of this opulence and he came to this very, very nice position of serving. The devotees. So, anyway, I was able to speak to him after the class, and he asked me where I'm from. And I said, USA. And he said, Oh, oh. He says, When you go to USA, you must visit my sons.、Uh, they're living in Boston. And I said, Oh, really? I said, that My home is very close to Boston, only one hour. So he gave me the phone numbers. And in a few months, I traveled, actually moved back from Hungary to US. And immediately, within days after reaching, I contacted his sons, and they were so sweet, so nice to me. I said, Yes, I know your father, and this and that. And so that, that's how the whole thing started. And then soon after, a few months later, s a d h u m a r a j came to USA. This is which year?、Uh, 2001, yeah. And he came to USA, and I remember. I, we, USA, 95. Yeah, first meeting was in the 90s. I don't remember exactly the yeah, year. Yeah. But after you took sannyas, after this, yeah. You see me in Gelat Ashram?、Uh, in Budapest Ashram, somewhere. t i t a m a r a j also, someplace, you know, different places. But so, so, at that time, which year you, you are in, in Hungary? Hungary, I was in Hungary from 91 to 2001, 10 years living in Hungary. Yeah.、Oh, yeah. And then when you met the Sad Mahal? I believe it was 99, after, uh, uh, after 98, 98, 99, something like this. I don't remember exactly the year. 95, I was in America.、Mm. Yeah. And I decided in America to take some help. <laughs> you went、America、to. America go for the. Enjoyment, and I decided to pick something. You traveled to South America, right? You went to Colombia. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't there then. No, I was in Hungary. I was surprised. I went to Colombia, and first, I, 95 I went, and 96 when I went, they stopped it. 96 was. Indian passport has to get visa.、Mm. Oh. And I have no visa in my passport to, for the America.、Mm. Come back, and I have no visa to go to Colombia. So, what I, they put me like a. They stopped me. <laughs> the whole night. <laughs> and the devotees bring prasad and everything. And morning, they put me in one flight. Flight? Yes,、yeah, see, flight. Then I say, I have no visa on the Indian passport. Then I'm going back to India now. Oh my goodness. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> And after some time, one person c o m e to my flight where I'm sitting and says, Come with me. And I say, Where I'm going, I don't know. <laughs> They bring me out in Miami airport outside without visa. 
know, in America, in tree without visa from Colombia to America. <laughs> and then after 10 days, again I get the visa and go back to Colombia. Oh my God. Too much. You see? So, that time what decided to take sannyas for me. <laughs> if I come back to India, no way for me <laughs> to go for sannyas, leaving this big family problem. <laughs> so, they hold me in America to go back. In 96, I see. Mm. You took sannyas in 96? Mm. Oh. Then traveling in more. Mm. No, no. 95 I start in Grass Ashram. Uh -huh. And I never work like a brahmachari or anything. Never. Just from Grass Ashram to there. Sanyasi. <laughs> And I don't know what is meaning of that. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? Oh my God. I asked to Paramadati Maharaj, I don't know. I was Girastha, and you make me sannyasi. What I do? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> he don't say anything. He said, what do you like, you say. And he gave me one book. It was not in English. It was in Spanish. Siddhar Maharaj book. My God. He gave me one book. This is the your place. I said, how I will read in Spanish? And how I will understand? He said, I will give you one translator to translate you. And he was surprised. He's so kind with me. I am flying. My translator is flying. All ticket he is sponsoring for me. Even translator? All. I tell you. He never... Rishikesh Maharaj, you know? No. He said, I am oldest GBC of him. And he never pay me ticket and you are, what happened? He pay your ticket? I said, this is what I can do. <laughs> I never afford for this anything. Wow. Wow. Nine months I traveled South America. All by car, by flight, by this and that. Great mercy of Paramatma. He is so kind person. And I see in Hungary first right, my dear, and then America. So, to take sannyas is your decision or Paramatma Maharaj suggesting something to you? He suggests to my Mataji. 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 Mataji, he asked, Are what he is doing in the family life? <laughs> Why not he takes sannyas? <laughs> then Mataji said, He's useless. He's useless. He do not do anything. He no earn money, nothing. It's better for him to take sannyas. My God. One or three times. He yes, useless. He is no working. He was working, now he don't want to work. And then, Well, there's so many nice memories. Um, <clears throat> I mean, some not so nice, but I just wanted to share kind of a mix of a few things. So we get to Boston, and there was one Rajvasi there, very nice 
man doing preaching in USA. His name's Keshav Shukla from Vrindavan. And he's I, I met him through Sadhumaraj. And Keshav Shukla said, Okay, so bring Sadhumaraj to Iskon. I said, Oh to Iskon, really? Yeah. So we go to Iskon and suddenly Sadhumaraj walks in the door and all the Iskon devotees are surrounding him and offering obeisances to him in Iskon Temple. And I'm like, wow, this is a very popular, powerful person, has so much respect, so much adoration, so much love from everyone. And then after that, then it's okay, Sodomars, you give class. In Iskon, they say, not possible. I became very angry. I said, what do you mean, not possible? He's Rajvas from India, please, let him give class. They said, not possible to give class. I was really hurt in my heart, really, really offended and hurt. Sadhguru Raj, he was just smiling, no problem, no problem, no problem. You know, and to him it was, he was not offended, no hurt feelings, just very much just accepted the situation with so much humility and so much grace. He says, no problem. So I said, don't worry, Sadmaraj, I will arrange some programs for you. So after, not immediately, but after maybe one year, I said, you come to Vermont, New Hampshire, we go to different cities and we do six different programs in different places. Some, some of the programs, a lot of people were coming, some only a few people, but the important thing is that wherever we went, um, I'm trying to remember in one program, we are walking on the street before the program, and one man is coming with two suitcases. He's walking on the sidewalk, and this man stops in front of Sadhguru Maharaj, a similar age person, and Sadhguru Maharaj says, Hello, hello, how are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? And he said, oh, I'm just arriving here. And Sadhguru and Sadhguru says, come with us. So the man, he comes with his suitcases to the temple. And Sadhguru is speaking to him. Anyway, we had nice program, nice prashad. And then I talked to the man. I said, so it was evening, it was the dark, it was getting late. I said, where are you staying? He says, I don't have a place. I said, well, you stay here in the temple. So the man, he stayed in the temple. And this man, he never left the temple. He stayed there for two years. Wow. And he was living in the basement of the temple. Wow. Now, it turned out he had some mental problems. He was a homeless guy. Oh. See, with a suitcase. But he, he was well-dressed, intelligent, college-educated guy. Wow. And he, through Sadhguru Maharaj, he had developed a strong love for Gordon Itai, you know. And he was just living in the temple, and then eventually I got him in an apartment upstairs. He lived there, I ended up staying there 10 years. But anyway, this is the type of, the type of um, effect, the type of influence that he has to reach into the person's heart. You see, it's just amazing. And we had similar things when many places we went. Every people were so moved by him, and I remember I would put the advertisement in the. I'd go to the local newspaper, and I'd say, "Please put a little press release that this Sadhguruaj, he's from India, and he's a monk." And I remember one article. It just said, "Meet a monk," <laughs> and then it, it had a picture of Sadhguruaj. Meet a monk. <laughs> it was funny. And people would come to the program, and uh, Sadhguru Maharaj would give such sweet classes. And, of course, these people, they knew nothing about Bhakti Yoga. Most people just wanted to meet a monk, you know. And they would come, and Sadhguru Maharaj would just talk about love. He'd talk about Jesus. He's very good at relating to the people, the Christian people. Because he, he went to Christian school, right? Yeah. So he has a very deep understanding of Christianity. And he was able so nicely to relate to the people on their level. And then gradually bring them to understanding who is Radha Krishna, you see. Um, you know, I, there was one other incident in my house. 
This is kind of a sad story, but it just shows his... So we had a cat. And uh, I remember I, Sadam Raj, I made some corn on the cob for Sadam Raj, and he was eating the corn, and then he had his remnant, right? So I took some remnant, and then I put the rest down in the, in the cat dish, you know, on the floor. And the cat, I saw the cat was chewing this, chewing, chewing, chewing this corn, corn. The cat just couldn't get enough of it. And I said, I'd never seen the cat eating corn like this, you know. Wow. And then, that day, the cat disappeared. Really? Yeah, the cat disappeared and left his body. Wow. Yeah. Like a Mahapavana. Yeah, the cat ate the remnant, Sadhana Maharaj Mahaprasad, and left the body. Wow. Yeah, it was, yeah, something. Yeah. Anyway, just a little story. Um, but Sadhana Maharaj was so humble, so sweet, and we were going on long journeys in the car, going through the forest and so many places and stopping to see people here and there. And everywhere we went, he just captured the hearts of the people. And I was really, really inspired by, by his service and his humility. Uh, it was really an amazing opportunity for me to learn so much. And it's funny how it happened because I was moving from Hungary to USA after 10 years in Hungary. I met the devotees in Hungary. I didn't know any devotees in the US. I didn't know anyone. Really? No, I didn't know devotees in the US. Only in Europe. Yeah. And Sadhguru Maharaj, right before I moved to USA, I met him and he said, go to see my sons. And through his sons, I met this case of Shukla and other devotees. And it just, it was Krishna's arrangement for me to have a nice transition from Europe to USA, meeting really nice devotees there. So I'm very, very grateful and appreciative of all of the support and the love that that I don't deserve at all, but somehow Krishna made this arrangement, so what can I say? I'm, I'm very blessed to have this association. You have more, more than 20 years of association with Sadhguru Maharaj? Yeah, more than tw like 23 years, yeah. 23 years. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Mahababa also 25 years. Mahababa 25. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's nice because he really introduced me to his family and I became very friendly with his family, you know, which is very nice. And uh, his sons, uh, Priyash and Raja, you know, I visited them many times in their homes and they also came to my house. So, yeah. So, all I can say is uh, Krishna is very merciful. If we can somehow have some faith and we can give some surrender to the Lord, then He makes all of these wonderful arrangements to give us the proper association. This is, this is. And then when you come to Vrindavan to meet Sadhu Maharaj? Yeah, first time was uh, 2015, I believe. Yeah. 15? Yeah. Now, for many years, I wasn't able to come to India. I was working so much, and if I had any free time, I would go to Hungary. I would go to Europe to visit my devotee friends there mm -hmm. and my Gurudev there, so I didn't have much opportunity you know, to travel to India. Finally, um, after I went into like semi-retirement, then I was able to come to India. And I really love this place. This is a really special place for me to come. A very special mood here. Uh, it's a very special loving energy here that you don't find in, in so many places. So, you know, Vrindavan can be a little bit harsh sometimes in Godyamat. I've stayed many Godyamat temples. It's very strict and many rules and no one's smiling and everyone is very, you know, you know, focused. And that's nice. That's a different mood, you know. But coming here, it's very sweet and loving and it's very nice to be here in this in this environment. So, yeah. In 15, you can maybe. 2015, first time. Maybe we met. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah. it was in. Uh, I think uh, I I came during uh, Holy Gorpanim time. Uh -huh. So first Mayapur, I was only in Vrindavan for maybe a week. I think at that time. 
Then twenty. Then since then, every year I'm coming. Every year, every year since then. Yeah. Wow. Except during COVID, I couldn't come. Twenty twenty, I couldn't come. Twenty twenty one, couldn't. But this year again in February, I'm coming. So. Yeah. So please. Thank you. He has a very nice. Yeah. 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 You know, it was a big apartment building, um, and it had some storefronts, you know, three storefronts. And I had, all three were rented. When I took the building over, all everything was rented, right? Wow. And I was, my dream was going to America. I said, wow, I have this property. I want to have a temple here, and maybe a restaurant here. But in the beginning, everything's rented. And my wife was very much a materialistic person, not so much, not interested in devotional life, anything. And I had family to support, so. And I had big mortgage, I had to pay every month like $5,000 for a mortgage on this property, you know. So a lot of expenses. So, um, Sadhguru Maharaj came to Concord before I had the temple. He stayed in our house. And he says, you have this big property. He says, you have to do something here for Krishna. I said, tell my wife. <laughs> so, she's a very difficult person. But Sadhguru was so sweet, so loving to her. And one time she arranged some ticket. He had a problem with his ticket. And she did some arrangement for his ticket. And, and since then, she was so loving, so sweet to her. And always saying, my sister, my sister, my sister. And we, there would be a big program. And my wife was sitting in the back, you know. She didn't want to be involved so much. And Sadhguru Maharaj would say, sister, come here, come here. Sit next to me. <laughs> so my wife would come and sit next to him. But unfortunately, um, the things didn't work out. But anyway, when he said, you have to do something for Krishna, I said, well, everything's rented. I don't want to kick out these people. They're paying rent and they've been here many, many years. I'm not going to just kick them out. He said, don't worry. He goes, if something opens, then you can do something. So, well, it's like the next month, one guy said, you know, I'm going to move. I'm going to close my shop. He says, I'm getting old. I don't have to use Photoshop. So he closed the shop and again, Sadhguru Raj, you know, mercy. So immediately I made arrangements to turn that into a temple. And it, you know, if you've ever been to New York City, uh, you know, matchless gifts, right? Should have probably his first place. It looks just like this. Same size, small, big window in the front and long, you know, like this. It looks just like that. So any devotees, they come, this is like Prabhupada's temple in New York City. <laughs> you know, it's a small town, but still similar, similar look. Yeah. Very simple. Very simple. Uh, city? In the... Uh, uh, program New York. They invite me for yeah the cities. Some church. Yeah, we went to like six different places. We had one in Concord, New Hampshire. We went to New York City. We went to uh, we went. I'm trying to remember. You know this? Maybe we went to this um, the devotee from Chile. Remember him? Did you go with me to that place? Yeah. What's his name? Um, he was a Tulanandas. Yeah, yeah. You remember this? Uh, we went, I think, I don't know if you came with me. We went there maybe in New York City. That's nearby that area where the Bhakti yeah, yeah. Center is. I don't remember. I went with the. Uh, we went to. Did you go to. One church. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't recall. Yeah. We went so many no, places. No, you are not there. Maybe not me. Tarun is driving. Uh huh. Tarun Govinda is driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. 
it was um, it was it was just amazing, you know. People they never met anyone like him, you know. And it, this isn't a you know you've been to New Hampshire before. It's it's very like old USA. It's everyone is kind of like there's no diversity there. You know, I have also one program mm. where the uh, world center. What is this? World Trade Center. Huh? World Trade Center. In New York. New York. That is very rare to get the place to share something. This is the all VIPs go there. Oh, what is the name? Um, what is this one? The World Trade Center? No. Huh? The World what? Trade Center? No, that wasn't there then. That, was, that was down. No, 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 not with you, I went. No. But somebody bring me that World Trade Center or some... some was it United Nation? No. United Nation. Wow. Right. Yeah. United well, Nation. you know the devotee. Three times they invite. Yeah. This was. Um, this was. Uh, um, United Nation program. They yeah. Invite. This Boliv This Bolivian devotee. Uh, I just. This one. Living. My God. This Bolivian devotee. I saw him recently. In yeah, Gopinath yeah, Kodyamat, yeah. he's a um, he's a Sridhar Sridhar's disciple. Uh, he was arranging, he was working there. I think maybe he made some. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. of somebody. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, his name is um, it begins with R. Um, uh, not Raghunath, yeah. but uh, well, uh, what is that place? What? United, United, United Nations. United. Yeah, yeah. Very dear, good chances they start asking. Mm. But by the grace. Please, Lord. Kesava has a big temple now. Yeah, now he's has another temple. He's leaving. He's getting a, a new one, you know? Yes. A new place. Right. Yeah, also. in Holbrook there. Yeah. I haven't seen it. And this place was the first place where Prabhupada meet in Boston. This was the last place where Prabhupada came. Yeah, wow. Boston. Yeah. Boston. He, he arrived for Jaladutta in the port in Boston, but he didn't stay in Boston. Immediately he went to Newark. No, first I think he went to Newark. He was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's waiting there for like one year with his family. You know, finally he got some money together and he went to New York. But he was living in a family's home in Pennsylvania for quite a few months. Just living in upstairs in their room and they were just this ordinary Indian family, not really devotees or anything. It's just some this is his only contact in the US was this family in Pennsylvania, you know. But he ended up in New York City. Then the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, USA is it's is an interesting place, you know. <laughs> to travel even you can find to, to convince others. Yeah, you can find everything there. Anything and everything you can find. Which is nice, you know. Some people complain, oh, it's this, it's that, but But very much is experience I have. Good experience.
this traveling makes me good. Sarvaj, how many countries have you visited? I don't. Do you have any idea? I don't remember. I have to make a list to find Somebody has to check. It. You've been to every continent or Africa you've been? Never. Never. Oh. London, I never went. London, never. No. <laughs> But South America, many countries. Okay. South America, many places. Yeah. All countries. South America. <laughs> All countries. Wow. And USA, <clears throat> many states, huh? Many states. California. California. Many Idaho. Places in California. Idaho. No. You have to go. Oh, it's now but he's California. Not. I was staying with the shaman. Yeah. <laughs> and Hawaii, you went? Huh? Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii wow. Wow. Yeah, Hawaii. Big island. Big island, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. Amazing. Many places in America. And in Europe also, many places. Huh? In Europe as well. My God. All over. Huh? All over. Greece, no. Huh? Greece, no. no. Europe, I have no time. When I went to Europe, I forget South America. <laughs> I have no time. And which place you like the best in Europe? Every place is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hungary, I see Rambija. Rambija. Ah. Ah. Maharaj. Hmm. All. <laughs> Bulgaria you like very much, I know. Bulgaria also. Yeah. And Rambija bring me Bulgaria. Mm. Just I come. Are you living in the right now? No, I don't think so. And how much do you stay now hmm? here in Vrindavan forever? Uh, you never know, right? How long is forever in this body? Could be two days, could be two weeks, could be two years, we don't know. But now you are staying in Bengali? West Bengal. Mm -hmm. West Bengal means yeah. where? You know Kolkata, uh -huh. from Kolkata, you go south, straight south towards uh -huh. Ganga Sagar. Uh -huh. And in be from halfway point, Kolkata, Ganga Sagar, there's a, on the rail line is a place called Joynagar. Joynagar, this place is where I live with my Indian Bengali family. Mm. Kodapriya, her mother, sisters in Mayapur. Yeah. So we go many times to Mayapur to visit her sister. Wow. We enrolled her in the Bhakti Vedanta National School wow. near the Iskand in Mayapur. It's a good school. So she's there now. Her mother's there. But her mother was here with us in Kartik time. We were together, the three of us. Um, my wife and my dad. They were so adopted, but anyway. Yeah, so I love to be in uh, India. I'd like to, we go to Puri together, Vrindavan, we go to visit holy places, pilgrimage, you know, whenever we have the opportunity. So, very happy to be here in India. But why you went to Hungary? Uh, my first wife, yeah, was Hungarian. Oh. Yeah. That reason why? First wife, a Hungarian. So I, yeah. so I lived in Hungary for many years. Oh, so when did you move to like a this Krishna consciousness? Uh, like 90s, early 90s. Early 90s? Early 90s, yeah. I was living in US uh, and working. And yeah, my brother was Buddhist. And he was preaching a lot about Buddhism, but I had no interest. I had no interest. I was working, making money, I had family to, to support. I was just working, working, working. And then, around age 32, I said, this is, 
not life. This is no good life. What's the purpose? You know, just to make money and support the family. I wasn't happy. A lot of pressure was there. I just became very disillusioned. You know, there must be more to this life. You know? So I said, let's go to Hungary, live in Hungary. See, so he left U.S. He went to Hungary. And there, after reaching Hungary, there I started my spiritual path. I started doing yoga, then I met the devotees, and one thing led to another, you know. So it was like this. So we, sometimes we have to change the place. We have to change the environment sometimes, you know. But really, my message to people is changing the place, changing environment is not the solution. You have to change what's inside, you know. The, the change has to take place in your heart. But for me, it was important to get out of USA and have it sometimes for, it, it is good to have a different environment sometimes can give you a different vision, you know, sometimes. Rati, Rati, go, 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 go,